What's up guys? Um, it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. No, it's not. It's actually dreary as fuck. As you guys know, I got rid of my Lamborghini uh, not too long ago and I need to get myself a new car. Not much inventory out there. Used car prices are jacked up. Even the new cars are above MSRP. So it's been hard to find something that I really want to get into, especially since I've been driving Lamborghinis, like from a Huracan to an Aventador. And it's just like, ah. Oh. Ferrari was my first, like, supercar but once i and i thought i was a ferrari guy but once i got behind the wheel of a lamborghini i realized no i i am absolutely a lamborghini guy and i really want to get another aventador but since i just drove one kind of just don't want to get behind the wheel of the same thing and aventador prices have just gone up so much and it's hard to find one exactly like how i like it so i'm thinking um i think lamborghini is coming out with a new flagship model after 2022 like a hybrid something or other so probably just kind of wait on that till i get another lamborghini but until then i can't wait until 2023 to get another car so i think i found something i like um, i'm at the ferrari dealership i have purchased a ferrari before but funny enough i bought my ferrari at lamborghini so this is my first time actually buying a car at the Ferrari dealership and I wanted to vlog it. So let's see if I can get the deal done. A couple of things though, before I go in there, I came with a blank check and the title to my car. Let them know I'm serious about buying the car. And I will tell you this, no salesperson can sell me anything. A salesperson is not gonna dictate whether I buy the car or not. I decide if I'm gonna buy the car or not. They can tell me this story, that story, how great the car is, but ultimately I'm, of course, getting their information and listening to them, but they're not gonna be able to persuade me or sell me the car. When I buy a car, it is strictly my decision. I buy the car because I want to buy the car. So hopefully we can strike a deal, get something that I feel like is fair, make me feel good about it, be home with a new car. Let's see what happens. Check it out. Hopefully they'll let me film. I'm not sure if they're gonna let me. tan interior so red on tan is the classic ferrari color known as corsa red which just means racing red in italian well well red obviously but corsa rosa i believe actually so this is what i came here for this is the ferrari fa tributo it's got the f1 steering wheel carbon fiber here and then this lights up i forget why i don't know anything about cars oh my god this car is amazing it really reminds me of my 458 except i had a white one it was white on black and i think the reason i didn't really keep that car too long is because it was white on black i even wrapped it red because i really wanted it to be red but then red on black just for ferrari just not the right color if there's anything that i can nitpick about this car it's that it's missing some carbon fiber trim so they spent all this money. I think this is like an extra $5,000 option for, for this. But this, like the air conditioning duct center console right here is just plastic. I wish it was carbon fiber. And then this is weird. For a $400,000 car, you would think that the AC like control system would be a little bit more sexier, but there's a lot to be desired here. But you know what? I don't mind the simplicity of it, the minimalism of it. The cars I've been looking for, I've been looking for a lot of vintage cars for a classic vibe. That's been my style recently with fashion and everything. I kind of like a more like low key flashy. And I think the Ferrari kind of suits the way I've been dressing these days. And that's kind of how I go. That's kind of how I choose my cars. It's like, how have I been dressing? You know, when I was driving Lamborghini, I was wearing a lot of Balenciaga, a lot of Gucci, a little more out there, more flashy but I've toned down my fashion a bit, but obviously it's still a Ferrari, so it's not like I'm out here, you know, dressed in Target or anything. Not that there's anything wrong with Target. I shop at Target for clothes too. It's not about where you buy it, it's about how you wear it. Same goes for the cars. What do you think, so Ferrari or Lamborghini? Uh, both. Oh, I like your style. What do you think about the car? It's beautiful. Yeah? Yeah. 
That's the one to do. Cool coffee table made out of a Ferrari engine. So they have a demo model of the F8. Um, I'm not sure if this is for sale or not because they said it's a demo model, but it has all the things that I want on it. So It's got the yellow calipers right there. And as you can see right here, it's got all the carbon fiber trim, that mid console also, carbon fiber. So that's what I'm looking for. I wonder if they'll just sell me this one. They want $399,000 for it. Some additional cost to get the trim, you know, to get the, uh, you know, the yellow calipers, the carbon fiber trim on the interior, powder coat the wheels white. And so I just took that cost and it's a consignment. Somebody else owns the car, their client. So I took that cost, I subtracted it from the cost that they're selling it for to see if we can work out a deal. All the Ferraris in here are marked up 70 grand over sticker price right now. The market is insane. So um, hopefully we can work it out. There was another car here that he just let me know. They sold for 400, that was listed for 412 and they sold that for 395. So I don't think, you know, what I'm asking for is, whoa. April. Sorry, she was stepping on my shoes. Dude, didn't you learn your lesson from your dad? Don't put your foot on glass tables, April. It's rude. It's not even your coffee table. So we're looking for, uh, so we're negotiating right now and hopefully we can work something out. We shall see. It's been a long time since I've negotiated anything. Well, at least for a car. <laughs> and the deal is done. Thanks to Mike McElroy here at Ferrari of Atlanta. I appreciate you very much, sir. Can't drive it home today because we got to work out the details uh, on Monday, but everything was great. Service was great. Negotiations went very pleasantly. A1 service all the way. So if you need a Ferrari, come out over to the Atlanta dealership. They treat you like, they treat you excellent.